Hello friends. In the last video, we have discussed about the Bosinex theory. So in the present video, based on the Bosinex theory, we will see how the stress will vary along the vertical plane. And also we will see how the stress will vary along the horizontal plane. <music> So before moving on to evaluate those, again, let us rewrite the equation. So what is the stress equation? Bucinic stress equation at any point, sigma z that can be written as q divided by z square into 3 divided by 2 pi into 1 divided by 1 plus r divided by z whole square whole to the power 5 by 2, okay? So this is what the normal stress at a depth z from the ground surface using Bosinex theory. Now let us see how the stress will vary. That means variation of stress along vertical plane. Variation of stress along vertical plane. Okay. Now. Let us consider the soil mass, ground surface, and let us assume that you are applying a vertical concentrated load here, isn't it? Now, let us for this, just for the simplified purpose, let us first see how the soil mass is varying along the vertical plane that I am drawing now under the line of action of the load. That means first we will see how your stress will vary along the vertical plane like this under the load. If under the load, what we can say? R is equal to zero. If you substitute in that equation, what can you write? Sigma Z, that can be written as Q divided by Z square into 3 divided by 2 pi. If your load is constant, 3 divided by 2 pi is also constant. And your Z, that means normal stress, is inversely proportional to the Z square. Let us say, if z is equal to zero, suppose if we keep z equal to zero, what about the sigma z? That will come at as infinity according to the equation written. Let us say you are going very, very far, very deep below the first value surface. That means we can say that z will be infinity. If you keep z equal to infinity, what you will get? Sigma z is equal to zero. Is these two cases are possible? That means under the, just what is meant by z equal to zero? It is just under the load. That means on the soil surface. Do you think the stress is equal to infinity? That means very, very large? No. In reality, we don't consider it. Similarly, we cannot go up to a very, 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 very large distance. There, there is some limit. After that, we don't feel any stress. But according to this equation, if it is of very large, then only it is saying the stress is equal to zero. So again, we'll say this is also we won't consider. So how it will vary? That means initially at z equal to zero, we don't define. Why? Because it is showing infinity. If it is infinity, means that undefined. So similarly, z is also infinity means undefined. And if you keep on moving away from the soil surface, if you keep on moving below the soil surface, as your z increases, your stress is also increases. In the form of what is the degree? Z square. That means in the form of parabolic nature. So I don't represent the stress exactly on the surface. Why? Because there it is undefined. So it will keep on decrease. It will keep on decrease. It will keep on decrease. I will draw it as asymptotic nature. That means somewhere it will be infinity and somewhere it will be equal to zero. But if you keep on moving below the ground surface, the stress magnitude will decrease. So this is how your stress, normal stress will vary under the line of action of the load. Okay. What happens if you consider a vertical plane that is not under the action of the load? Let us consider that case also. Again, consider a soil mass. Okay. Now, let us say your load is applied somewhere here. Let us say it is Q. And you are finding the variation of the stress 
on a vertical plane that is at a radial distance r from the point low so how the stress will vary on a plane that is at a radial distance r from the point low so i can rewrite the equation sigma z that will be equal to u divided by z square into 3 divided by 2 pi into 1 divided by 1 plus r by z whole square whole to the power 5 by 2 again if you keep in this case what are the constants your q is equal to constant and also the vertical plane is also constant that means r is equal to constant that means with respect to z your stress will vary again consider if your z is equal to 0 again the same possibility your stress will be infinity if you are considering very very large below the very large depth that means your sigma z will be equal to 0 in between these two what will happen as you are having some radial distance also what happens this r is in the denominator if your r is in the denominator what about your sigma h that will be lesser magnitude compared to the value r is equal to 0 so again if you draw the same condition then the stress variation will be like this so on this plane at exactly 0 we can't define then it will keep on increase it will keep on increasing. after some increasing then it will keep on decrease so this is what the variation at a on a vertical plane at a radial distance are like that if you moving away from the vertical uh, radial distance then sorry let me rewrite it right again similarly if you draw one more plane that is on the another radial distance as your radius is increasing again your maximum stress parameter will also decrease so if we again redraw the stress variation it will be somewhere like this so suppose at r equal to r1 let us say this plane is at a distance of r1 and the second plane is at a distance of r2 let us assume for the vertical plane if it is at a distance r1 let us assume that you are having some maximum distance somewhere here if you are considering vertical plane r2 the radial distance is occurring somewhere here so if you join the points on the vertical plane which are having the maximum stress let us assume like this if this is your vertical plane let me draw with some paper like okay so if you draw a plane that joining the maximum stress on the vertical plane okay let us say for the vertical plane at a distance of r1 the maximum stress it is occurring at a magnitude of z1 for the vertical plane if it is at a distance of r2 let us assume that the maximum stress it is occurring at z2 then i will retry again as the diagram is not looking good so there is some particular angle let us say this is called the beta okay the line joining of vertical plane having same maximum radial distance that can be written as that is always constant that is found out to be 39 degrees 15 minutes okay so in the gate exam we have to by heart this value and based on this value they may ask you some question like on some vertical plane they will give you what is the maximum stress okay and also they may ask you by using that value if you are considering another plane if it is at a radial distance of r2 what is the maximum stress magnitude or else they may ask you at how much distance at how much at which point you will get the maximum radial distance that point you can find out by using this relation like tan beta that can be written as if you use this relation that can be written down as r1 divided by z1 and also can be written as r2 divided by z2 by using this relation you can find out on any vertical plane where you can get the maximum normal stress okay this is what about the variation of the stress along the vertical plane in the next let us consider how the stress will vary along the horizontal plane that means 
variation of stress variation of stress along horizontal plane variation of stress along horizontal plane again consider the same thing let us consider the soil surface and let us assume that you are applying somewhere load here and we have chosen a plane along the horizontal direction let us say this plane is at a distance of z below the ground surface now you want to study how the stresses are varying along the plane which is having same depth if you recall the equation what can we write it as sigma z will be equal to q divided by z square into 3 divided by 2 pi into 1 divided by 1 plus r by z whole square whole to the power 5 by 2 in this case what are the constant values your z is constant your q is constant what is the variable parameter r let us say if your r is equal to 0 if your r equal to 0 this vector parameter is equal to 1 that means how much you are getting q divided by z square into 3 divided by 2 pi that means how much you are getting q z will be equal to q divided by z square into 3 divided by 2 pi if your r value increases your r is in the denominator that means what happens to your sigma z your sigma z value decreases suppose if your r is if your radial distance is very very large that means how much you will get sigma z value you will get it as a zero in between these two points your stress will decrease so if you join all those points then you will get the shape we may be like this maximum value at r equal to 0 and if you move away from the radial distance the stress will decrease so the variation will be like this at r equal to 0 you may have the maximum value and if you keep on moving away from the horizontal plane you may have the decrease in the normal stress and at very larger magnitude that means at very larger distance along the radial direction your normal stress parameter will be equal to 0 so whatever the depth you consider how the normal stress will vary along the horizontal plane always you will have the maximum stress that occur under the action of the load only but if it is of vertical plane if your radial distance of the vertical plane changes your maximum normal stress point will changes and that will find out by using it an angle of 39 degrees 15 minutes as we have seen in this value here so this is what about the variation of stress along the horizontal and the vertical plane okay in the next video we will solve some problems based on this topic thank you